Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome to this quick update video because there's pretty much exactly two things I want to talk about regarding From the Depths updates uh, or the most recent ones at the very least and yeah this is a kind of a mini patch update kind of thing and um, not going to go too in depth in all the changes because there's a lot of fixes this patch isn't particularly big uh, this is patch 3.25 and then the follow up uh, 3.26 uh, hotfix and we're just going to focus on 3.25 at the moment and very quickly reading out uh, the patch notes uh, just while the Rhea gets shot at by huge missiles uh, more on this missile arrangement later I have special plans regarding these um, additions AI airplane maneuver routine now explains its usage of the six control modules in the UI Airplane Maneuver Routine now writes explanatory messages to the text shown in part view so you can see what it is doing. Hopefully making uh, aircraft a little bit easier to build and manage. Custom Jet Engines. Pressing Q on any CJE part except the generator will now open the controller interface. Nice. Missiles. Missile damage is now shown by the addition of black smoke and a black trail to the missile. So you see up there uh, all that black trails. That is because the Raya has Seawiz and it is a shooting at these missiles that we are firing at it. Uh, changes. AI. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, this is kind of a bug fix. Uh, airplane maneuver when doing a banking turn will now use yaw to get the vehicle to pitch at a specific angle rather than simply commanding the yaw axis to activate. This should increase pitch slash altitude control during banking turns. That's pretty sweet. Uh, custom jet engines. Hull blocks are now only 50 materials more expensive than their non-standard counterpart. They have a weight increase of 0.5. Okay, cool. Uh, missiles. Missile damage, thrust, and maneuverability are now proportional to the missile's health. This has been changed to take uh, make non-lethal missile defense still useful. It's also seen as a realistic and interesting change. Yes, I got it, thank you. Error message. Gosh, dang. So, this is, and the rest of the patch notes is just uh, fixes, and uh, 3.2.6 is also fixes, which we're not going to cover uh, right now. So, this missile damage uh, debuff is the thing I really want to talk about, because this is a potential game changer. So, um, in recent uh, weeks, there has been, I guess, community concern that huge missiles are a little bit too strong, and that missiles in general are just... Uh, really uh, a bit much in terms of how like good they are and this should help alleviate that for a second because um, what was happening beforehand is that uh, whenever you were shooting at missiles so oh actually yeah I was like Ugh, I just realized that these things have black uh, trails to begin with so we should probably change that to hot pink Let's do that instead. Ugh. That does look pretty dope, though. But in any case, so, um... Damn, that means I can't really use uh, black trails on missiles. That's annoying. But in any case, it means that uh, as missiles take damage, uh, they do less damage. Uh, they turn uh, slower. And... Where the hell was it? And... Basically, and they... Basically, they do less damage, they move slower, and they don't maneuver as well. Also, the Raya has just copped it, so that's nice. Yay, pink. Oh, wow, that's actually quite a significant missile trail. That looks pretty sweet. Let's set that to pure white, actually, just so uh, we can uh, we can look at it properly. So, that's the major deal, is that now your sewers and your lambs and your missile interceptors aren't rendered completely useless by missiles with ridiculously large amounts of health. Because even if you don't destroy them, uh, you do weaken them considerably and make it less likely for them to hit you. So, yay for game balance. And the second thing I wanted to uh, talk about is that uh, the new version of the Singularity uh, has been put into the game. So this is the updated one. And yes, I'm going to do a Most Wanted on that. Uh, who was it who did that? I believe um, uh, SMNK is the one who uh, was did it, and I'd say they do a pretty good job. So let's spawn this thing in over here. Godly singularity. So it's still roughly the same cost as it was before, but there's some significant uh, differences. Not going to go too much in detail, hopefully. Uh, but uh, yeah, this fella right here, 
Uh, number of differences. Firstly, continuous lasers now instead of um, kind of the pulse lasers it had before. It did just shoot itself for some reason. And um, it's armed with hollow point railguns now. So it had AP before, but now it's uh, lobbing. Uh, looks like oh no, those are those are sabo. So there we've got a sabo. So it looks like one side is sabo and the other side is hollow point. Let's see here. Uh, yep, I'm correct. So one side is uh, uh, armor piercing uh, sabo heads, and the other point is uh, hollow point sabo. So. Uh, best of both worlds and far as kinetic damage is concerned. Let's see here. What are you lobbing? You are lobbing. These look like... Haven't actually looked in depth at this because um, I'm going to save that for the most wanted video. But yeah, these look like... What is... What are these things? These are medium sized missiles? No, they're not. Where... What? Where are they even being launched from? It's hard to even tell. So yeah, this uh, this thing is uh, scarier than the old Singularity, it's just been updated to fit current mechanics better, but um, uh, the good news is is that uh, this is not just an ordinary missile array, well, I guess it is, depending on what you're doing, uh, but this is the uh, missile array I'm planning for uh, the Song Killer Mark II. So, uh, for those of you who don't know about the Song Killer, uh, if you look up the old, now, update, uh, now outdated uh, Singularity Most Wanted, uh, the Song Killer is the first vehicle I, I have ever made uh, that can kill the Singularity, and it is uh, basically a honking big rubber submarine. Very ugly, but very effective. And uh, this uh, missile array is going to go on its replacement. And thankfully, these things still work. So, uh, when you lob uh, missiles at the Singularity, hopefully we'll get a good demonstration of the new missile mechanics uh, while we're at it. So, the new Singularity, uh, similar to the previous version, it has a lot of missile interceptors. And so you can see here, just, it has so many of them. It's so, absolute clouds of interceptors here. And, um, part of the way it does that is that it launches cluster uh, missiles. So, uh, these huge, I think these are huge or maybe large. I can't really tell. Uh, where are they launched from? They appear to be here. Those are okay. Those are large and we've got exposed to uh, general purpose processing in there. Interesting. And um, well, I guess this thing's not really designed to be shot at from behind. But anyway, large uh, missiles containing uh, small interceptors uh, as clusters and they fire up and they d damage missiles. And so hopefully we'll get to see immediately. Oh, yes. And also the lasers double as seawiz. So that's a uh, one of the measures are taken uh, to uh, so hopefully we can see here so we'll see as you can see yeah 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 so you see that lead missile is slowing down as it gets damaged so slowing right down and then uh, when it finally gets damaged it doesn't actually uh, go off so this is I guess this is a side effect of missiles de dealing a percentage less damage uh, as they get damaged themselves is that if they get popped uh, before, let's see, is it going to make it? Whoop. Yep, so these are penetrator frag missiles, and you'll notice no fragments spawned at all. And we'll see here. Bang. And bang. So that warp you saw the Singularity do, this thing warps sideways and uh, up in order to evade missiles, which does work, except it doesn't work against slow missiles very well. Probably gonna eat my words because SMK is gonna watch this and be like, right now I know what to change. So, yeah, still takes a lot of uh, these penetrators to actually kill it. You notice that one has buggered off into the middle distance. And let's see what damage has done here 3% damage. Uh, we've gotten in here a little bit, got it in uh, CJE, and uh, messed with uh, some components here, there, and everywhere. But yeah, also, just diving into the front of this, you'll notice that... Uh, where is it? There's... Where is it? Where is it? Aha! So you see, these are wedges. Uh, people were telling me about these. So wedges have um, uh, the best... Oh, that's a good picture of it. Uh, wedges, or like, have the best uh, kinetic reduction of basically any block of the game. Um, they're better than 4 meter slopes. Which means that if you try, well, if the, these missiles were actually hitting this thing in the front, they'd be doing almost nothing, because those are heavy armor wedges in there, and it uh, just uh, wouldn't be doing much. Uh, thankfully, these things are rigged to hit the top of things, and so uh, 
So yeah, thankfully uh, my plans for the Song Killer Mark II are still on board. I'm not sure if this is the only uh, new craft, well, new craft, updated craft in this particular update. Um, if there are any others that I don't know about, please let me know, because that'd be uh, really cool. And yeah, that's basically it for, um, what was the patch note again? Uh, 3.2.5 slash 3.2.6. Basically, missiles are uh, slightly less OP again, and that's kind of nice, because frankly, uh, I was a little bit bummed out by that. Yeah, you can see that. Ah, see that right here. You can see this black smoke um, starting trail as kind of a visual indicator of the missile taking damage. Very, very handy. Like, like much needed update. I approve. And yep, just juked that missile entirely. Did uh, and that one did not juke that one. Didn't juke that one. And you can see here. I'm hitting here at the front. Um, Pretty damn good uh, armor design. Uh, that kind of um, that frag missile, just so you know, can punch literally straight through uh, a megalodon if it hits the deck. So uh, Singularity has pretty good armor, actually. So also, uh, if it wasn't for the missile damage thing, this thing would probably be already in the water by now. I. I am going to finish uh, watching the Singularity get shot down because it's very therapeutic for me, but I'm going to end the video right here. Sorry, you can, like, I don't know. Presumably there'll be more of this later, because my goodness I love shooting things in this game. Does that sound crazy? I think it does. Anyway, that does it for this quick update, so uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see uh, more videos like this. Uh, support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like, it really helps and there's cool perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and thank you SMNK and all the other people doing hard work, uh, continuing to support the game, update uh, blueprints in it and just all that good stuff. We love you. Farewell!